Hello Hi, everybody Daddy. and YouTube. welcome to YouTube. Welcome We're to YouTube. YouTubers. That's us. The YouTube. My name is Sam. My name's Ryan. And welcome to our channel. That's all. That's Guess what? We are back with another tier list. Yeah, just we just keep cranking them out. Or like a little tier list factory. Can't be stopped. Everyone, today we are gonna be making a tier list of Ryan, take it away. Okay. <laughs> Good start so Thanks. far. We're gonna be making a tier list of recent musical movies mm -hmm. that have uh, either graced or disgraced us with their presence. Uh, who's to say which one did what? Well, that's what you're gonna keep watching to find mm -hmm. out. We're taking movies, what is it, I mean, for basically from the past five years, 10 years? Uh, yeah, I would say m m five to 10. And obviously there have been a lot of musical movies and right. we, they're not all on this list, okay? Right. We're only doing ones that we are familiar with. That, that we felt like were worthy of talking about or that would make, you know, good video. I don't have to explain myself you to, to you, too. Uh, no. This You know what, we make our content the way we want to make it and you'll yeah. either you know you just either you can watch it or click out you know please see what, don't see what uh please. david dobrik is posting no stay here stay here it's david dobrik canceled do we like yeah, him he's gonna oh he's goners let's look at our tiers shall we this is how we are going to be ranking these movie musicals starting from the bottom who paid for this there is so much money in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. There are so many, you know, fancy producer daddies with fancy producer monies, mm -hmm. investing their fancy producer monies in whatsoever they please. Yep. And yet somehow we still have cats. I guess that kind of spoils Spoilers. that one. But like literally, like who, a bunch of you sat down in a conference room and were like this, this is the art America needs. No, I say, no. Next category up, meh. It's just meh. It's just meh. I think that's I think like that's what else do we even have to say, I don't really? I don't think anything. Great. What's next? The next tier up is, well, you know, hey, at least there's a soundtrack. This is for a musical movie that did not slap, but the music is great, mm -hmm. you know? Maybe it's a musical movie written by Pasek and Paul. Wow, I'm doing it again. I'm just giving it all away. Yeah. Never mind, it's not Pasek and Paul. They're not in this at all. Don't Actually, worry two about other movies it. Are in here, but it's okay. The next tier up from there is just a solid woodsy again. Yeah. Enjoyed myself, would, would care for another go round. Mm -hmm. Would probably see it in theaters and then also rent later on a movie night with your friends. You rent? Know? What do you yeah. mean, stream on Disney Plus? Plus. Oh, sorry. Some of us use Amazon Prime Video. Amazon Prime Video. Give us <laughs> okay, the tier up from there is created by Lynn manuel Miranda. <laughs> yeah. And again, I mean, we've already basically told you where all of these things are going to go without telling you where they're going to go. But let's face it, Lynn manuel Miranda can't be stopped. Cannot Everything be this man creates is pure perfection. And he has given us two, in our opinion, of the best musical movies of the past decade. Yeah. And so his movies are gonna go there. But you should you could, should continue watching for the engagement because you never never know what surprises. We'll be interviewing Andrew Garfield later. He's coming on to the, he's joining on the show. So stay tuned for that after a word from our sponsors. We don't have any sponsors. If you would like to sponsor our video, imagine us talking about your product or company right here. Amazon Prime That's Videos. That's crazy. It could be you. Let's get into it. First up, Dear Evan Hansen. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so this movie got a lot of flack for a lot of reasons, but we are looking at the movie, obviously. The movie, the performances, none of the Ben Platt is too old to be in this movie. Uh, drama. Yeah, I will say like there there was there was some drama around him because he had said at one point like if if I wasn't playing Dear Evan Hansen this movie wouldn't get made. Yeah. And you know what? Maybe that makes you mad for some reason, you know, cuz you definitely have a horse in this race. But like he's right. It's, like it's the entire musical was created for him with him in mind. So mm -hmm. why would the movie be any different? So like the fact that he's there, like, is he too old to play the role? Yeah, maybe, I don't know, that's not up to me, but he he is the role. Dear Evan Hansen was created for him, so. Like, uh, literally, though. And, and ben, it wasn't just like, that yes, was a good match, it was literally, literally made, made for, for him. him. And Ben is, like, tremendously talented. And mm -hmm. I actually think his performance in the movie is, like, stellar. I mean, he's, like, really tapped in. I can't explain why, and <sighs> that makes me a bad content creator. And you know what? Slap on the wrist, Ryan. You, you should've... 
Oh, I slapped. Yeah, this yeah, is this is the back my of hand. hand. Yeah, the back of your hand is ridiculous. Remember VH1, right? Your MTV. Head. I don't yeah. remember. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I said hand. I don't know why. I can't explain it. I'm not even gonna try. But the, I just the movie was just it was cringy. And you know what? And I I I mean I just I I don't I hope that I don't get in trouble for saying this, but I'm gonna say it anyway. It felt like a decom. Mm. Like it, it felt like a decom. I don't know what, I don't know why, I don't know how to describe. I, yeah. Everyone in it was just there doing their doing darndest the to make Dear Evan Hansen the big splash it was supposed to be. And, and Ben was amazing and you know, big celebrities were in it. And I just don't understand why, but the whole thing I was just kind of like, what happened? Especially because the musical is so good on the stage. Mm. Although problematic though. I'm also kind of like, why are we rooting for him? I don't know. I, I have so know. many thoughts. I can't put this anywhere other than the bottom. Yeah, so I feel like this movie and the musical, I think intentionally, it's so uncomfortable. This kid is lying to the family of The bereaved a family of a, of a boy lost to suicide. Like, it's uh, so uncomfortable to watch. Like, of course the movie is gonna feel cringy because it's like, you know he's lying the entire time. So, I don't know. I, I did not enjoy myself. You know what else? So, I just have to like say this. Ben Platt is such a good actor, but because Ben Platt is such a good actor and just did not, did not filter himself whatsoever, it kind of makes it seem like Evan Hansen is a really good actor because he's giving this beautiful performance while literally mm. lying through his teeth. That's so true. And I'm just sort of like, wait a minute. Ben Platt is a great actor equals Grammys and Tonys. Good for him. Yeah. Evan Hansen being as good of an actor as Ben Platt equals like literal sociopath. Yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. We've talked about this on our channel before. Yeah. About our thoughts on Dear Evan Hansen. So I don't think we have to talk about it too much. We've spent longer. a lot of time on this. Yeah. So bottom let's tier. put this in bottom tier. Who paid for this? Who paid? Who, who paid? For who this? paid for this? And why? Leave it on the stage. Yeah. Or. Mm, okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> Next. Next we have the prom. Yeah. So this is one that I think a lot of people like had high hopes for because the cast sounded great. Meryl Streep, Andrew Rannells, Love me some Andy Nicole Rand. Kidman, uh, James Corden. So this is one that I think had a lot of potential and I do like how it was shot, but it kind of fell flat to me. You know what's hilarious? And I think this might just give us the answer. When we, when I said, next up, the prom, there was this like tiny silence and what was about to come out of my mouth was meh. meh. I think this movie goes in meh. It's, I guess if you're like a super fan of the prom, maybe you'll enjoy it more than others or you'll hate it because it wasn't the interpretation of the musical that you wanted. But I, I don't know, it, it had some fun heart. Um, but it, it just fell flat. Fun heart, put them together, what do you get? Fart. All right. Meh. Next up, oh yeah, meh, good for you. That, <laughs> put a nice button on it, that'll be good in the edit. Next up, we have In the Heights, created I by mean, Lin-Manuel Miranda. Need we say more? It's the perfect movie. It's the perfect movie. Lin-Manuel Miranda and John Chu together. How many more times will we get that as, as people who are alive? I hope many. It, it, it's fantastic. This so goes in good. top tier category. If you have not seen it, please go see it. I don't know if you can still see it in theaters. www.linmanuelmiranda.com slash in the heights movie slash John Chu slash free viewing. Dot org. Next up, we have cats. Yeah, it's the worst. It's Who the paid worst. For this? Like I already said it in the intro. You said it Why in the intro. did anyone ever decide that this was a good idea? Ever at all? Not to mention that we should CGI cat bodies on them with with nipples and like. But then they had keep their fingers, I, girl, and their and teeth. And what and their kind of human Planet feet? of the Apes dancing? Garbage, so what are you doing? But you got Idris Elba, which is, I mean, we love Idris. How we did you Jennifer get him? Hudson. How did you rope him into we, this? We what, love, what do they have on you, Idris? We love so many of we these actors and actresses. 
Just why? Again. He's, he's, is he in all of these? <laughs> Maybe. I'm surprised he wasn't in I'm gonna, the I'm going to watch In the Heights back and the 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 soda machine guy played by Lin-Manuel Miranda. What's it called? Periagua? What's it called? Paragua. Paragua? I think it's Paragua guy. Oh, we're such white people. Yeah. Like, it, I'm gonna watch it back the second time and it's gonna be James Corden. I'm like, wait a <laughs> wait, minute. Wait, wait, wait a second. How did, how did he get in here retroactively? They edited, there's a second edit with James Corden in there because his agents were like, he needs to be in this one too. What are we Cats. talking about? We're talking about Cats. Oh, yeah. Cats uh, is the bottom. Cats is the bottom. Goodbye. Who paid for this? All right. Uh, West Side Story. Oh. Uh, so I will say, we had a fantastic experience girl, seeing West Side Story for the first time. We went to the Los Angeles premiere. We went to premiere. the Los Angeles premiere. We, we got to see it with the cast. Like, I, I didn't Spielberg do this there. because boundaries, because po polite, and because COVID, but I, I could have touched him. I could have reached out and Steven I was Spielberg. that close to Steven Spielberg. It was insane. Uh, such an incredible experience. And the movie is fan it's so beautiful. It's so beautiful. It was beautiful. I I thought I thought it was just I, <laughs> perfect. Like I want to like word vomit right now just because of how beautiful it was. Well, and I always forget that it's a tragedy though because I wanted you to forget the West Side Story uh, based know, on like, Romeo, Romeo and Juliet, the most famous tragedy of all times, is a tragedy. Yeah. How do you forget that piece I, of information? Because the first half of it, like Act One, is a bop. Act One is just like all about the anticipation of these two characters. Meeting. Meeting. What? I mean, another way to interpret it could be Act One is in anticipation of the race war impending but that's in New it. York City. That's true. I forgot about I'm that. Talking part. about like, oh, yeah. it's like just oh, it's all so it's all it's so so <laughs> the Jets are gonna get it right now. We're gonna kill all of them tonight. Like that's what's happening, really. Yeah, I forget. I'm having a problem though. Why? Can this go and created by Lin Manuel Miranda? Listen, it wasn't created by Lin Manuel Miranda. <laughs> And I don't like. Was it the perfect movie? It was really close, so close, but I don't know if it was the perfect movie. And listen, we also have to we also have to take into consideration like it kind of box office flopped. Yeah, it didn't do that well in the box office. Which, which I was, think is wrong. Yeah, what it is, should have. Shame on you, uh, world. It was so good. We saw it for free at the premiere. Yeah, why didn't you pay forty dollars to see it opening weekend? We're such brats. Uh, yeah. So would see again. I, I, I would, would put it in. Would see it. I would see it again. Probably not right away though, because I lost, I was so dehydrated because of all of the tears that left my body. Oh, I always had but, so much popcorn, that's why I was dehydrated. Mm, it's so salty. Mm. Movie theater popcorn. Mm -hmm. Let's take a moment to talk about movie theater popcorn. <laughs> movie theater popcorn! <laughs> coming <us> to a. <laughs> coming to. <laughs> too many movies. I was gonna do like, yeah, like a Jerry Stein like, What's with you? What's with <laughs> movie theater popcorn? Alright, so that's What's in the next? second tier. Would see again. This video is insane. Okay. I we feel like we're going so fast I don't know, in the best I, way. We have a list here and it just says G. <laughs> what is G? Uh, the Greatest Showman. Oh, oh. The Greatest Showman. This is the Greatest Showman. Yeah. Man. That should tell you how we feel about it. No, the soundtrack was so good. Well, two songs on the oh, soundtrack yeah. were so good. We telegraphed this never, too. Never, never. Yes, absolutely. Never, never. Yes, I Give us um, a taste. I just did. Uh, I think that uh, Pasek and Paul are just fantastic. Fan aren't they? freaking tastic! What a lovely, what a what a lovely duo of, of writing geniuses working together to to, mm -hmm. to concoct great songs wow. to put in mediocre movies. They should pair with better directors, so or writers of movies. <laughs> that is just how I feel. I know, dear fans, was at the bottom. So the music is so good. So here are my thoughts on The Greatest Showman. The music was really strong. The movie was fine, but they felt like they were two d different genres. I feel like the movie and the music did not blend very well. It didn't well. congeal. And so that just kind of really sticks out. Like I feel like when, I, when I'm watching this movie, I'm kind of like, I would rather like just listen to the music and then watch whatever this circus movie is that Hugh Jackman is in because I did, it's not like I didn't enjoy those parts, it just did not blend well for me. So for me, my favorite part of this like musical movie is the soundtrack. So, so um, what's it called? At, at least there's at, a soundtrack. At least there's a soundtrack. What a perfect tier for this movie. Perfect. It's almost like we came up with these it's tiers. It's crazy how that happened. Well, we've reached close to the end of the video. We only have one more, and we would be remiss not to mention in a list of the decade's finest and worst musical movies, Tick, Tick, Boom! Woo! 
Ooh, Andrew Garfield, you dirty dog. Directed by Lin Manuel Miranda. Miranda. This this absolute. <laughs> just can't do anything wrong. Yeah, I thought you were gonna say can't do anything, and I was like, there's so there's nothing, much. You know, there's you know, can't, can't do anything can't wrong. Do. I mean, yeah. Jeez. Absolutely fantastic. Cheese and movie. crackers. You know what I mean? <laughs> Not really, but cheese and crackers, cheese and rice. It's how you say Jesus Christ without getting in trouble when you're a oh, kid. Oh, funny. Mm. Hmm. Well, I grew up in Minnesota where you tried to get away with it. You grew up in Nashville where you just didn't dare to utter. Even a morsel of anything resembling Jesus Christ, the sanctity of our savior. Merry Christmas. Anyway. Anyways, this movie was fantastic. Lin-Manuel did a, Lin-Manuel, I just call him first and middle name. That's not middle. weird. Yeah, it's a oddly formal and <laughs> yeah. informal at the same time. No. LMM did a fantastic job at directing this movie. Beautiful. Andrew's and great. Andrew's fantastic. The entire cast, honestly, yeah. was fantastic. But shout out to my girl Giselle. She was my Nessa yeah. Rose on Broadway. She was in that movie. Also, massive shout out to whoever played Stephen Sondheim. Okay, great. I thought you were gonna say V Hud, and I was like, she doesn't no. even matter in the movie. No, she was fine. She was fine. Um but whoever played Stephen Sondheim, it was like scary good. Brilliant. It made me question if he was like actually in this movie before he passed away. Brilliant. Brilliant job. So yeah, I mean, uh, this is a no brainer. It goes and created by Lin-Manuel Miranda. Because it was. And because you know what else? Was. You know what else is great? Tick, tick, boom. Not in like the great American canon of recognizable mm, musicals. No. You know what I mean? Like this was sort of like a musical theater hipster undiscovered mm -hmm. gem from the days of yore yeah. and Lynn manuel Miranda was like, I'm, I'm gonna put this on the map, right in the middle, just a big bold X. Yeah. Marking the spot. Uh, so freaking good. And I, and I love, like you can tell that Lynn manuel Miranda, uh, yeah, 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 it's like it was like, like a, a map treasure thing. map. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's where the, like the X, well, yeah, putting it on the map. Cause that's where like the, a treasure. Yeah. yeah. That's how things are marked on maps. Tend, they tend to be, yeah. I mean, other ways. It mm -hmm. depends on what the legend says. Mm. You know, different, different, different symbols are codified in different, different ways, things. depending on the map. Mm -hmm. Lin Manuel Miranda put his heart and soul into this movie too. You can tell that he was just such a massive Jonathan Larson fan, and that Jonathan Larson was so impactful on, uh, like, <laughs> making Lin Manuel Miranda like who he was. And so it's it's just fantastic. You can feel that heart in it. This is top tier. If you haven't watched it yet, watch it. Netflix, give us free stuff. Lynn manuel hmm. Miranda, give us jobs. Well, we've reached the end of the video. That's our tier list. That's where we put things. Please don't mistake us for people who take your opinion seriously or care at all. <laughs> By that, he, by that he means, uh, hey, if you disagreed with us, that's totally fine. You're entitled to your opinion. And uh, this is just a video made for entertainment purposes. Yeah, just so, you know, no yeah. capital letters in the comments. No capital just, letters. You know what I mean? Type like Ariana Grande down in the comments down below. Oh, girl. <laughs> anyway, musical movies are great. Yep, uh, except for when except they're not. Except for when they're bad. <laughs> but the good musical movies are really good. We are so lucky to be alive at the same time as as Lynn manuel Miranda. And John Chu. And um, I genuinely think that the good ones are like ushering in a panacea. Did I use that word right? Wow, I don't know, I don't know what of, that word of, is. Of, this is gonna be the, 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 the no, that's of the supercontinent <laughs> mm. before they split tectonic shift. Mm. That's gonna be the topic of our next video. <laughs> tectonic shift to give us free stuff. <laughs> This video is sponsored by the San Andreas Fault. Oh. Whose fault is it really? Okay, it's get, we're going into the golden age of musical movies. Wicked is gonna be next, mark my words. Everything's great. We love you, thanks for being here. Like and subscribe. I'm Ryan, this is Sam. You know the drill, it was a tier list. See you on the flippity flop, daddy. Bye.